A new league and a new team. The Direwolves hit the rift for another year in League of Legends. Let's look back on the team's performance throughout the year. Direwolves League of Legends started out the year by picking up a squad of established players within the scene. Donning the Direwolves colours on the rift were Cupcake, Shock, Clear, Guncrab, and only, alongside Farmer as the coach. Moving into split one of the newly formed LCO, the team were confident and looking to make an impact. Split one started with a stumble, though the team rallied and ended the regular season in second place, just behind Pentanet.gg with a 10-4 record. Moving into the split one playoffs, round one put the Wolfpack up against Peace. Falling to Peace 3-0, the team dropped into the lower bracket and came up against Chiefs. Despite moments of brilliance, Dire Wolves fell to Chiefs 1-3 and left the playoffs in fourth place. Ahead of the split two, Dire Wolves asked the question you never knew you always wanted to ask. Who's capping and who's gapping? Our weekly series would recap all the news from the LCO, naturally fronted by the king of mid himself, Shock. Does the blue buff belong to the mid laner? Why are the LCO casters wearing bathrobes? And finally, will Eladora get the justice he deserves? All this and more on week 4's episode of Who's Gapping and Who's Capping. Split 2's regular season mirrored the first, a rocky road at the start, ending up third seed heading into playoffs. After a season filled with BM, we made like 3M and taped this banger of a track onto the scene to let them know Dire Wolves drop fire. Take it away, Big Shock. Split two over, games are done. The best of vibes have just begun. Chiefs at the start, at the top of the table, but maybe now not looking all so stable. Swayed at the start for a low key flame. <laughs> <clears throat> so, anyways, back to playoffs. Our first round matchup was against Order, where we put up a strong 3 0 against the young squad who were looking good to take it all. Follow, Dire Wolves will get the 3 and 0 in the first round of the playoffs in LCO Split 2. And Claire just had to go 0 2 just before the Nexus died. Make sure he goes down, pads Puma's stats just a little bit more. Uh, at the end of the day, Dire Wolves are just too strong. This best of five was just too easy for them and they were only really pushed, only really challenged in the first game of the series. Pushing forward in the bracket, we met Pentanet where we struggled to make anything happen, falling 0-3 to three to the MSI representatives. As we dropped down into the lower bracket, our matchup against Peace proved a little one-sided in their favour, falling 0-3 to three and placing third for the second ever split in the LCO. With 2021 behind us, we want to thank all who flew the Direwolves flag this year. You've all done us proud and we wish you all the best for the future. We look forward to seeing everyone on the Rift in 2022.